Alright folks, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute since you've seen my face the last couple of videos, but I'm back with the Pops to talk about uh, five things that we've learned since starting the uh, kayak fishing journey uh, so far. It's been really fun uh, learning how to uh, kayak fish with my dad over the last year or two. It's been really, a really cool experience. Uh, and we just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the stuff that we kind of uh, learned through our journey so far. Um, yeah, I thought it, you know, it's really, when you get into something, you kind of just feeling your way through it. You, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what you're going to go through. So it's just a good time for us to share with you um, as beginners um, and hopefully folks that are getting into this, um, sort of our lessons learned, some of the things that um, we learned just, you know, jumping into the sport and um, some of the things that we're sort of going to tune in and um, change um, or add um, for the upcoming season. So, uh, thank you guys for the support on the channel. Um, just the comments. Yeah, thank you for the support. The likes, um, the subscribers have been growing steadily, so we really appreciate it. As always, if you like this video, get, definitely give us a, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, and get, comment and comment and comment. The comments yes. are great. Yeah, so they're really great. They're really great. Love get love getting the comments. Love responding, engaging um, with all you folks out there. So, um, with that said, we're we're gonna give you our top five um, lesson learn or um, you know things that that uh, we want to share with you as as kayak beginners. So, uh, number one, oh, ladies I'll, first. I'll go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, number one for me, uh, one of the things so far that has, uh, I guess, annoyed me or made me impeded my ability so far to enjoy kayak fishing is every time I've been trying to fish, it's been a struggle to constantly try to realign myself because when you're on the water, your kayak is constantly moving. So it's been a struggle for me to constantly realign myself, try to fish, constantly realign, cast, cast my line out. So one of the things I want to do uh, starting this uh, next next upcoming fishing uh, kayak fishing is getting a stakeout pole um, that'll help me be stationary while I'm uh, fishing that'll make it easier for somebody who's still kind of learning how to try to fish in a seated position um, it just it'll just make my life a lot easier uh, one of the things I've been looking at which I'll probably be getting is something called a uh, a yak attack, uh, a yak attack uh, park pole um, and that that is one of their stakeout poles. They make a lot of great um, kayak fishing enthusiast products. Um, we'll probably put a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out or check out any of the other products that they uh, offer uh, kayak fishermen. Uh, but I think that's definitely going to be one of the things that helps me uh, start to get better at uh, kayak fishing going into this next next year, next season of fishing for me. Um, for me, um, it's it's too much gear. So. Um, I like everything uh, in my life. I dive head first into it, so I'm a Eagle Scout. Yay, Boy Scouts! Um, so I always like to be prepared, but um, you can be over prepared, and you can have way too much gear, um, especially when you're getting into this. So for me, it's you know I learned not to take um, a whole lot of stuff, and definitely this season I'm going to be um, really focused and conscious about narrowing down the things that I'm bringing um, on the water and, and really focus on just those things I need and, and kind of really be more um, efficient about um, only having the things that I need for that day and of course you know your normal emergency gear stuff um, but that was a big thing for me I had way too much um, gear um, on the boat didn't use like half of it Sometimes a lot of it would get in the way, um, and you, you don't really properly um, work on your techniques and, and, and really focus on, on, the, on, the, on the different things that you're trying to get done that day, right, for fishing, because you just got all the stuff to go through. So my number one is, is really just uh, keep it simple, stupid, right, as, as, as the old saying go, and, and really just have um, the gear that I need for that day. So... Number two. Uh, so number two is going to be a quick one. Uh, one of the things I just need to get better at is just tying my uh, my uh, line, my uh, fishing line knots better. Uh, it's always taken me uh, kind of like forever to do do that. I've always kind of just 
been very casual with my fishing, so I never really uh, tried really, really hard to get like just really efficient at that. But um, I do coming into this um, new new fishing season and just been enjoying doing fishing uh, a lot more uh, w with my dad. Uh, I definitely want to uh, get better at that. It takes me way too long, and I end up, especially when I'm on the water, having to either ask my dad to help because he can do it quicker than me, or it just takes me like so long that like. My, the, my whole spot and then by the time I'm done I've moved over my kayak to a completely different spot so uh, that that's not as good uh, for where I want to fish so it's just I think that's something I need to get better at, is definitely getting more efficient at just tying my fishing knot so I can uh, fish more effectively on the water. Um, for me my number two is probably doing more prep so I, I do prep the, the, the day before or even during the week trying to kind of get stuff together but we need to get a lot better at, at, at sort of prepping, um, um, you know, laying out the gear and, and kind of, again, this gets back to, right, shrinking what I'm bringing on, is, is actually going through um, what I'm going to use on the boat that day, why, depending on where I'm fishing, what we're going for. So, so my number two is really um, about uh, getting better at, at prepping to be on um, the water for whatever particular um, fishing session we're, we're doing. Number three. So number three for me is going to be another quick, simple one. Just getting better at uh, maneuvering my kayak on the water. Um, so far, over the, about the year we've been doing some kayak fishing, I've I've gotten pretty good at maneuvering my kayak, but I definitely want to get better. Uh, I've definitely had struggles um, with um, hitting the the lily pads or the uh, high grass on the water which like completely stops all my momentum of fishing and just gets me out of the groove um, I definitely need to be better with kind of like trying to maneuver my kayak and do some quick some quick casts out on the water and do that kind of at the same time and just get more efficient out on the water just so I everything for me right now is just getting more efficient on the water just with with, it, with a lot of the stuff I do and uh, that's definitely one of them just maneuvering my kayak I just want to get better at doing that and and just just on that, like a lot of the a lot of our local lakes, um, so stuff for us within ten miles um, has a lot of vegetation. So that that's really important, um, mm -hmm. not only for PJ yeah. but uh, for me as well. Like um, just to really understand that you know our, our most immediate bodies of water where we're going to be fishing. You know, a lot of times when we're just trying to take a quick day or a quick couple of hours to hit the water. Um, where we are, we have a lot of lakes and ponds that just have, you know, a lot of gla a, a high grass, hydrilla. So um, that that's going to be really important. My number three is reading um, the water bodies better. So and and I guess this gets back to my prep. So I, I do, um, you know, use Google Earth and, and the maps and everything, kind of to find spots um, for us to go fish. And that, that's one of my new things where I'm going to find new spots for us, new bodies of water for us to hit. But part of that too is understanding um, the bodies of water and, and and learning to read the bodies of water. So um, we are hitting spots once we're out there um, that really increases our chances to catch um, um, fish and the type of fish that we're targeting for that day. So my number three is is really getting better at um, reading the bodies of water and um, identifying spots that would um, increase our chances for catching um, fish that day. Number four. So, <laughs> my number four is just getting better at getting on and off the water. Um, I want to be able to spend more time out on the water, and I also, when I'm ready to be done, I want to be able to get off, uh, get off, um, and go home. So, uh, we, it's definitely been a struggle sometimes to uh, make, get on the water at a reasonable time to make sure we get out there bright and early to be able to uh, have better opportunities to catch fish, and then it's also been a struggle to get off the water uh, when uh, you know we're ready to kind of wrap up so I want to be better at you know un uh, putting our kayaks on the Jeep and loading all of our equipment onto the Jeep and then and going to the spot I want to be better on loading all of the gear off of the Jeep um, um, take like being able to take all my stuff put it on the uh, on the trolley and um, putting and like putting all my gear on the boat knowing all the stuff I need I need and just getting getting everything on there quick and then just getting out there on the water and doing some fishing, man. And then being making sure I get off uh, effectively, taking breaking down all the gear, 
putting it on the Jeep and um, also it just it goes back to tying knots I need to be quicker and better about just tying tying down our uh, our kayaks on the Jeep because it takes me forever to do that sometimes it's it's honestly a joke it's really sad I need to get, I need to get better at doing that to be honest with you so honestly for the safety of others and ourselves we we, we don't let PJ tie down kayaks <laughs> um, I just had this you know whole scene flashing in my head that we're driving and PJ thought he tied it down and he <laughs> thought it was tight and he thought the straps were around the kayak. It's not happened yet, despite what he says. We, it's because still been done. we don't let him <laughs> tie down anything important. Um, uh, you know, we were even thinking about getting a seatbelt for his uh, kayak chair to strap himself in. But uh, no, it is it is important. Um, <clears throat> my number four is so funny. It was kind of similar to that. Was more so my. Um, my uh, uh, transporting my boat literally from the trailer or the Jeep to to the water. I have the the Hobie um, PA4 is a monster. Yeah, I think it's of a boat. So I have right now the the uh, um, I have the Hobie plug-in cart, and it works. It's good, <clears throat> but I literally have to. Put the cart on, take the boat down, and then kind of load everything on the cart, uh, and then kind of walk everything, all the gear that I need down to the water, put it on the boat, and then launch the boat. And then when I'm coming off the water, I have to like take everything off, flip the boat, put the cart in, then put everything back on, and then roll it back up to the car. So the, the whole process, it, it, you know, it was good to experience, it was good to, um, uh, to go through. It is, it is just not efficient, and, and part of that gets back to gear, right? So taking less gear, I have less things to load and unload and all that whole process. But I am definitely looking into getting um, the Boondocks uh, groovy gear. Um, you know, everybody that I'm seeing on the forums and that I talk to, um, you know, says that's the way to go. I had a little hesitation originally when I was um, picking up my Hobie. I was, I was going to get the Boondocks, but... The earlier versions, I think, had a smaller plate um, underneath the hull, and folks were experiencing some cracking, and of course, it's not under warranty um, with Hobie, but now they've come out with longer plates, um, and uh, I think it's just beefier, so from everything that I've seen online right now, um, that is probably the way I'm going to go this season, is to get a, a, a boondocks. Um, we'll put a, a link or description to it. Um, in, in this video but you know definitely um, being able to more efficiently transport my kayak to and off the water for me is, is my number four number five so last one for me is just getting uh, better at casting from seated to position um, uh, you know casting from a bank's fine easy no problem no issues could do that a, a billion times but um, it's definitely been a struggle uh, learning how to try to cast um, you know, while I'm while I'm moving in a seated position on a kayak, I definitely got a lot better at it towards the tail end of the fishing season. But I still wasn't um, really where I wanted to be. Just at, like I've been saying, just being more efficient. Uh, but I feel like once I get this anchor pole and just you know get get a little bit more time in my kayak, I should be I should be good to go in another couple couple months with just casting from my uh, kayak. Yeah, I, I you know. We we don't uh, we don't go near PJ when he's casting. It, 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 we sort of. Have, I mean, you did. We sort of have a danger zone. You talk about me, but you did almost <laughs> take out my throat with one of your casts before. So actually, if you guys look at, um, I don't know whether it was the maiden voyage or I don't or, remember or what the ghetto. Was, but so you did we'll, almost, we'll put a we'll put you a. Did, you did almost no. slice my throat. This is an over exaggeration. No. It's we not. will actually put a link to that video um, on this video where you can see PJ caught, uh, we were out fishing, caught a fish, and like, <laughs> we're willing to, it's like that, you almost sliced my neck, right? A, nothing of, of the sort, I was helping him actually take off his fish. Mm -hmm. Two, he has the fish hooked by the mouth, uh -huh. and I'm like, well, how do you think the fish feel, right? So completely over exaggerated the situation right, you guys will right. see it for yourself right, right, we'll see right. it in the video but no um he has gotten better um but it is it is something you know it, it's different so 
as a beginner, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's something that you really hard. need to think about, right? Is is casting? You maybe have been fishing for a while, but casting from a seating position on the kayak, trying to hit that right spot or uh, uh, um, bounce it under the dock, totally, totally different experience. So um, being able to work on that and and get good at that is 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 definitely um, a goal. Um, my number five. Are we up to five? Are you alright, old man? See, the old man. Number five. You just my, said five early before we even got, got to it. my five. It's got okay. It. It's, it's the senior citizen it, moment. <laughs> it's the stress and the struggle having all these children uh, <laughs> that don't go away, right? You think that you get some. Ain't reprieve. nobody made you have all these kids. <laughs> nobody told you to be popping out, baby. College grad <laughs> ain't nobody. Thank you. Money down the drain. Um, number five. <laughs> Um, scouting spots. So um, I did do um, a little bit of that last fall, and I think it really paid off. I, I actually yeah, um, found yeah. um, three new spots, which we all hit last season. So it was good to be familiar with them. You know, knowing how to get there, knowing where we could park. You know, whether they had, um, if you got trailers, whether they had space for the trailer. So that whole thing. So um, I'm going to definitely do that. Um, we're in the fall here in New Jersey, or winter. Um, so I'm going to be doing a little bit more of that this year. But scouting spots, so again, we can expand our horizon on, on different bodies of water and, and be able to hit new spots next season. So my number five is, um, is going out and, and scouting um, spots of, you know, first on Google Earth and, and using Google Maps and then actually driving to them. So come the season you know, we, we have a list of spots we're going to hit. So all in all, we just want to give you guys a little bit of our experience being beginners and, and things yeah. that we've run into. Um, I've enjoyed it. I, I think, you know, I can't speak for, for my son, but I, I really enjoyed I getting into I had my moments this. of peace on the water, just fishing, <laughs> relaxing, until uh, my dad decides to break my tranquility uh, with uh, his comments. But yeah, no, it's been a cool experience just going out there fishing on the water with my dad. It's been peaceful. It's been cool. It's been something different to do uh, together. Uh, we always do a bunch of different stuff, traveling and just doing different stuff together. So it's just another thing for us to do, which is always cool. Uh, and you know, and especially when we get to go out, go out uh, fishing with some of my other, my, uh, my some of my older brothers and just some of the other family and even my nephews. It's always just been a cool. It's been a cool family experience. I'm hoping we get to do more of that uh, all together with the rest of the. Uh, Yak and Sons family, uh, so um, and we're gonna uh, add camping. So we're gonna we're gonna yeah we're gonna be doing a bunch we're, of different we're gonna, different gonna be stuff. kayaking. Be yeah, we're gonna be kayaking and camping. Hopefully this season as well. And it, and it's just been like actually it got us into being YouTubers. So it, it's been a it's been a cool way to um, further extend um, the bonds with my sons and and get into something new like um, uh, being a YouTuber. So I, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I, you know, been grinding like crazy at work. Work's been very busy, so this has been a nice way to kind of do something different and decompress. So you have that aspect to it as well. And we hope you know you guys got something out of this. Um, we're going to be bringing you guys more content, more videos. Like I said in, in some of our other videos, we got a lot of content that we shot um, that we still haven't gotten through all the edits and the cuts. So you're going to see more stuff coming up. But we hope that. Um, you got a little bit out of this. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that notification button, and definitely like um, PJ said, send us some comments, bad or good. We want to hear the feedback. Um, and uh, if you guys have any recommendations, like Patrick's, uh, uh, PJ's looking for a stakeout poll. Yeah, um, definitely put those in the comments. That'd be, I, that'd be dope. I'm looking. Any, anything, anything of that kind of sort yeah. would be would be cool. Would be cool. Yeah. I'm looking for a better way to scout um, spots, and if anybody's in 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 New Jersey and and you know of good spots for us to hit up, by all means, put those in the comments as as well, and uh, we'll see you soon. Yep. Thanks. See you guys.